The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced tool for exploring the cosmos, has delivered a revelation that is shaking our understanding of the solar system. This time, its gaze turned to Pluto, the distant dwarf planet once thought to be a static frozen remnant at the solar system's edge. New images and data collected by Webb have revealed Pluto to be far more complex, dynamic, and mysterious than previously imagined. These discoveries are not only reframing our perception of Pluto itself, but also opening doors to new questions about the potential for life in some of the most unexpected corners of the universe. Long considered a frozen, lifeless world, Pluto is now showing signs of ongoing geological activity, intricate atmospheric processes, and the possible presence of a vast liquid ocean hidden beneath its icy crust. Central to these discoveries is Sputnik Planitia, the iconic heart-shaped region on Pluto's surface. Once believed to be an inert expanse of frozen nitrogen, it is now thought to conceal an enormous subsurface ocean. This ocean, insulated by thick layers of ice and potentially kept warm by internal heat sources, could provide the conditions necessary for microbial life. The mere possibility that such a hidden ocean exists so far from the sun challenges long-standing assumptions that life-supporting environments are limited to habitable zones around stars. Instead, it suggests that warmth and energy can arise from within planets and moons themselves through processes such as radioactive decay and gravitational interactions. Pluto's surface holds astonishing surprises as well. Towering ice mountains rise to heights rivaling Earth's tallest peaks while the smooth plains of Sputnik Planitia show signs of recent geological resurfacing. These features suggest active convection beneath the ice, slow lava lamp-like flows of nitrogen ice reshaping the landscape over time. Such movement indicates that Pluto is far from geologically dead. Like the icy moons Europa and Enceladus, Pluto appears to be alive with internal motion despite its frigid, distant location in the Kuiper Belt. This geological activity is likely fueled by internal heat sources, including the slow decay of radioactive elements within Pluto's core. Such energy sources could keep Pluto's interior warm for billions of years, sustaining conditions necessary for a subsurface ocean and potentially even life. Adding to the mystery is Pluto's atmosphere, which, though extremely thin, is far more complex than previously thought. Composed mainly of nitrogen with traces of methane and carbon dioxide, this atmosphere undergoes dramatic transformations depending on Pluto's position in its elongated orbit. When closer to the Sun, solar heat causes surface ices to sublimate, thickening the atmosphere. As Pluto moves away, these gases freeze and fall back to the surface in a cycle unlike anything observed elsewhere in the solar system. This unique behavior offers scientists a rare opportunity to study atmospheric dynamics under extreme conditions. Additionally, Webb has detected layers of haze in the atmosphere that stretch for hundreds of miles above Pluto's surface. These hazes, formed by the interaction of sunlight with methane, lead to the creation of tholins, complex organic molecules that coat parts of Pluto and its largest moon Charon with a distinctive reddish hue. The presence of tholins is especially intriguing because these organic compounds are known to form when ultraviolet radiation from the sun interacts with simple molecules like methane. On Earth, similar processes are believed to have played a role in the early stages of life. Tholins may not be alive themselves, but they are thought to be precursors to biological molecules. If these compounds are interacting with water ice beneath Pluto's surface, they could potentially contribute to the formation of more complex organic chemistry, possibly even the ingredients necessary for life. Such chemical processes occurring deep beneath a frozen shell would revolutionize our understanding of where life might arise. Equally fascinating is Pluto's largest moon, Charon. Nearly half the size of Pluto itself, Charon is so massive that the two bodies actually orbit a shared center of gravity located outside of Pluto. This binary relationship creates tidal forces that may generate additional internal heat, contributing to geological activity on both worlds. Sharon too shows signs of geological complexity with deep canyons, ridges, and its own reddish regions hinting at a shared chemical history with Pluto. Some researchers believe material from Pluto may be transferring to Sharon, 
suggesting a kind of chemical exchange system between the two bodies. This process could allow organic molecules to move between them, potentially undergoing further reactions and transformations. The idea that two celestial bodies might interact so intimately, exchanging not just gravitational energy, but chemical matter, is a compelling new frontier in planetary science. None of these discoveries would have been possible without the James Webb Space Telescope. Its advanced infrared capabilities allow it to see through Pluto's icy surface, detect subtle temperature variations, and identify complex molecules that previous missions like New Horizons could not observe in such detail. The ability to peer beneath the crust and analyze Pluto's atmosphere in fine resolution has opened up a treasure trove of scientific data. For decades, Pluto was dismissed as a minor celestial object, too small and distant to be of much interest. But now, it has become a focal point of planetary science, a frontier world that challenges our assumptions and demands further exploration. The implications of these findings stretch far beyond Pluto itself. If a body as small and remote as Pluto can harbor an ocean and possibly the chemistry of life, what does that say about the rest of the solar system? Could other distant icy bodies in the Kuiper Belt or beyond also conceal similar secrets? And if organic molecules can be transferred between neighboring moons and planets, as may be the case with Pluto and Charon, could life or its building blocks be more widespread than we ever imagined? To answer these questions, scientists are already thinking about the next steps. Proposals for future missions to Pluto are being seriously considered, including orbiters equipped with ground-penetrating radar to map its internal structure and landers capable of drilling through the ice to access materials from below. Some even dream of sending robotic submarines to explore the possible subsurface ocean, a daunting engineering challenge, but not beyond the realm of future possibility. Such a mission would represent one of humanity's greatest achievements in space exploration, akin to landing on the moon or sending rovers to Mars. Even now, as we wait for these future missions to become a reality, the data provided by the James Webb Space Telescope continues to astound. Webb has detected unusual patterns of energy surrounding Pluto, possibly hinting at interactions between its thin atmosphere, solar wind, and the broader Kuiper Belt environment. Despite lacking a strong magnetic field like Earth's, Pluto still exhibits magnetic-like phenomena, including a tail of ionized particles extending into space. These interactions suggest that even small, distant worlds are active participants in the cosmic ballet of solar and interstellar forces. As humanity prepares to venture deeper into the Kuiper Belt, Pluto stands as a beacon of what lies ahead, an invitation to explore, to question, and to wonder. It has transformed from a forgotten outpost into one of the most compelling and dynamic worlds in our solar system. A reminder that the universe still holds secrets in the most unlikely places, waiting patiently for us to find them. From its mysterious geology to its ever-changing atmosphere, from its potential for harboring life to its interactions with Sharon, Pluto is rewriting the rules of planetary science. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, the story of this distant world is only just beginning. In the years to come, as technology advances and exploration expands, Pluto may prove to be more than just a scientific curiosity. It may become the key to unlocking one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone? If the answer lies beneath the frozen surface of a distant dwarf planet, then every new discovery brings us one step closer to understanding our place in the cosmos. Pluto, once relegated to the margins of the solar system, is now at the very center of the most profound scientific inquiry of our age. Its dramatic transformation in our understanding from a distant, inert rock to a complex and potentially habitable world has sparked an unprecedented wave of interest in exploring the far reaches of our solar system. The James Webb Space Telescope has played a crucial role in this shift, revealing that Pluto is not merely a relic of the solar system's formation, but a dynamic and evolving body. These findings are not only rewriting textbooks, but also expanding the boundaries of where we might find life and how planetary systems develop over time. A key revelation from Webb's observations is the presence of active geological processes on Pluto. Traditional models held that such activity required a planet or moon to be relatively large with a substantial internal heat source. Yet Pluto, 
Despite its small size and frigid location nearly 6 billion kilometers from the sun, shows signs of internal heat driving convection and surface reshaping. This raises a critical point. If Pluto can maintain geological activity under such conditions, then many other icy bodies scattered throughout the Kuiper belt may be similarly dynamic and overlooked. Pluto's nitrogen ice plains, for example, lack the cratering seen on older planetary surfaces, suggesting ongoing resurfacing. That reshaping could result from slow creeping flows of nitrogen glaciers, ice that, unlike water, behaves like a liquid at the extreme cold of Pluto's surface temperatures. This geological activity may also hint at an insulated subsurface ocean, kept warm not only by residual heat from Pluto's formation, but also by the decay of radioactive isotopes within its rocky core. These heat sources, while modest compared to those of gas giants, are potentially enough to maintain liquid water under kilometers of ice. Just as deep-sea hydrothermal vents on Earth team with life despite lacking sunlight, similar environments could exist within Pluto. The hypothesis gains support from models indicating that Pluto's icy shell might flex and crack in ways consistent with a mobile layer beneath, a behavior typical of icy moons like Europa and Enceladus, themselves prime candidates in the search for extraterrestrial life. One of the most unexpected findings is the role of Charon, Pluto's largest moon, in this complex system. The Pluto, Charon pair behaves more like a binary system than a typical planet. Moon relationship. Because of Charon's size, roughly half the diameter of Pluto, the two bodies orbit a common center of gravity that lies outside of Pluto itself. This configuration means gravitational interactions between the two are intense and ongoing. These tidal forces can generate heat within both Pluto and Charon, potentially maintaining subsurface activity. Furthermore, surface features on Charon, such as massive canyons, ridges, and dark reddish patches, suggest a dynamic past that may still be playing out. These features could be caused by internal pressures and geological activity linked to the Moon's own thermal history. There's also the intriguing idea that Pluto and Charon share not just gravitational forces, but also material, with icy or organic-rich particles potentially transferring between them, a tantalizing possibility that hints at a shared and evolving chemical story playing out at the cold remote edge of our solar system. This possibility of material exchange between Pluto and Charon is especially fascinating because it suggests a kind of primitive natural laboratory where chemical reactions can be seeded and evolve over time. If organic-rich ices or tholins from Pluto migrate to Charon or vice versa, they could undergo further transformation under different conditions of temperature, pressure, and radiation exposure. Over geological timescales, such exchanges might foster increasingly complex chemistry, potentially even leading to the building blocks of life. It is a striking idea that two distant frozen worlds at the edge of the solar system might not just interact gravitationally, but share and modify organic materials in a slow, patient chemical dance. This could reshape how we think about habitability moving beyond the classic habitable zone model focused on liquid water at the surface to a broader vision that includes subsurface oceans, internal heat, and chemical transport across entire systems. Furthermore, Webb's infrared vision has allowed scientists to observe Pluto's surface and atmosphere in unprecedented detail, identifying subtle temperature variations that point to active internal heat sources. By studying these variations, Researchers are piecing together a thermal map of Pluto that reveals hot spots and cooler regions, clues to where convection might be strongest and where the ice shell may be thinnest. Such maps will be invaluable for planning future missions, indicating the best places to search for evidence of a subsurface ocean or to drill for samples that might contain preserved organic compounds. The telescope's ability to detect atmospheric hazes also offers insights into Pluto's complex climate cycles, helping scientists model how its atmosphere thickens and collapses over its long elliptical orbit. Understanding these cycles doesn't just shed light on Pluto itself. It improves our knowledge of atmospheric processes on other icy bodies and even exoplanets with extreme orbits. Sharon, too, is coming into sharper focus thanks to Webb. Once dismissed as a drab, inert moon, it now appears as a dynamic companion with a violent past. 
Its vast canyons hint at internal stretching or even ancient subsurface oceans that froze and expanded, cracking the crust apart. The dark reddish patches at its poles are likely the Lynn deposits, possibly created from methane escaping Pluto, captured by Karen's gravity and chemically transformed by solar radiation. This suggests an active system of exchange between the two worlds, with their histories and chemistries intimately linked. Webb's data have inspired new theories about how the pluto sharon system formed, perhaps from a massive collision early in the solar system's history that gave both bodies their strange binary-like orbital dance. Such a history would explain their shared materials and chemical signatures, reinforcing the idea that planets and moons can have deeply